No sins allowed. And then you have to uh, start over. Not fully, depending on what you did. But. Can you jerk off? Mm. That's a very technical question you're asking. Probably not. No. Uh, you're not allowed to lie, really. Sometimes you are, I guess, but other times you're not. And uh, we found out that this is the underworld. The underworld. And we're trying to get out of here. And right now, in order to do that, we need to free this idiot in here. He's uh, a bit special. Hello? Oh, I didn't mean to talk to him. As you can see, we met bye him bye. plenty of times. Bye bye. Uh, and we are supposed to elect a ball guy to become the next uh, mayor That's or whatever. Quite an impressive bow you but have first, there. we have to Just be like the messenger is. because he's a cuck and flirt with his priestess, who's supposed to be a virgin for the rest of her life. Ave again. Did you find what you need? Uh, yes, someone wanted me to give you this flower. Oh, how lovely. It just happens to be my favorite, too. Who do I have to thank for this? I'm supposed to tell you it's from a secret admirer and that they'll keep their distance. They just want you to know your love. I see. So, it's from Galerius, then? Oh, shit, she knows. Of course I do. I think everyone in the city knows. That they man is a wonderful springtime. human being. And my Bro. favorite person in the world. Without the camera shot. But he is it's a bit scuffed. It's a little Skyrim. You could imagine the way he looks at me with those puppy dog eyes. Plus, he's been trying for weeks to get his hands on this flower. Oh, was that him? Oh, that was him. This is randomly walking. That rope above the lake, inventing that pulley device all on his own. <laughs> He'd just stand <laughs> there him. each morning, looking at the flower, trying to summon just the courage to seize it. casually talking about him. Oh my heart. Look me at the flower. Alright, so what should I tell, tell him? Tell that adorable oak that my Vestal's vow of chastity ends once I turn 36. So, if we ever make it out of here, and he doesn't mind waiting a few years, then tell him I love him too. Oh shit, he's in. I'm sure he'd be happy to hear I that. I hope so. Alright, well. Uh, See you again soon, peace. I Peace. Alright, where the fuck did he go? We must be nearby. There he is. Freeze! Wait, what? Salve! Salve. Salve again, my Sisyphean friend. Now, what's on your mind? Oh, move cam. Uh, I delivered that flower to Equita for you. Thanks. What did she say? She knew it was from you. She asked me to tell you that once she turns 36, she'll allow to marry and that she loves you too. Venus, that is the best news I've ever heard in my life. Oh, thank you. I'm gonna have thank to tell him so again much. when you this fucking no cycle idea how happy you've made me. I wish there was something I could do to thank There you is properly, one thing. I don't have much to offer you. All I can do is tell you where there's a secret stash of coins you might be interested in. Uh, that's not what I was thinking about. In the rock tunnel near the stairs, there's a little doorway set into the rock. Inside, if you look carefully, you can see a chest. Unfortunately, one of those golden huntress statues is blocking the path, and I'm not game to move it. If you can figure out how to get oh, past I know it, how to move. I already figured this out. Force and force and force and pee 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 I have been popped in my butthole. Oh my god, it's so big. Force and please help me. Uh, yeah. I'm not sure how to. Sorry, sir. All right, we need to get this guy to become. Ever thought about running for magistrate yourself? I've bounced the idea around once or twice, mainly as a way of getting duly set free. God knows Sentius is never going to do it. But from what I hear, Maliolus has the elections stitched up. 
Nobody's gonna take him on and win. Dude, and I just fucking fucked Maliolus. I mean, he's not longer in the race. Freedom? So I'm hoping if he's elected, he'll release Dooley from his cell. That's good enough for me. No. Malleus withdrew from the election. He did? Oh, that was unexpected. I wonder what could have possessed him to do that. Well, I guess it's time for me to step up then. I'll let Equitia know I'll be running. All right. All right, let's fucking do this. All right, friend. Hope you find a way to break that cycle you're in. All right. So he gave me a tip, but I already figured it out on my own. <laughs> Uh, we're just gonna have to wait until we fu make a mistake and all these archers try and kill us again. Um, so we did that, and... Uh... Alright, we can't get this guy to stop being homophobic for some reason. I don't know, we tried fucking three answers. Figure out how to get girls elected to measure it. Yes. We'll, we'll talk with her. She knows a lot about politics. I don't really. Where is she? It's all up to me. Alright. Uh, Is our great temple majestic? What's up? Again. Salve again. Did you find what you need? Salve. Uh, what's the status on the election? It must be completed by dusk, just the same as any other official by dusk. business. It'll be between Sentius, the incumbent, and Galerius, the challenger. Okay. Why do you ask? How do we make him win? Uh, who's allowed All to vote? Of the male citizens who are willing and able to attend. Unless they're running, of course. Male citizens. Alright, can I vote? Well, you're not a citizen yet. Oh, shit. So, no, I'm afraid not. But if it's any consolation, there are other ways to influence the outcome of an election. Such as? By using whatever gifts the gods gave you. Nothing untoward, of oh, we course. can't kill anyone. Alright. We can't rig the election either, because that would break the rule. But we can convince people, right? Alright, so what is the current status of the election though? Like, who's winning? We don't know that probably. Uh, it must be, it'll be between white. I'm responsible for announcing it and making sure the procedures are followed. Alright. Should we start election now? I don't think we'll win. Certainly. See you again. Uh, who are Do you? you just love springtime? Oh, yeah. Like being in here? Oh. Shit. The crush. Gotta go. Oh, yeah. We can just farm this bow over and over. Alright. One, one coin. Alright. Salve. Bro. I need you to help me. Ah, I hear we have you to thank for. Who are you gonna vote well, for? Sentius seems to know what he's doing. Nobody's broken the golden rule under as Wrong. Much Anything I can do to change that? My vote isn't for sale, if that's what you're asking. Bro, I just helped you with your homophobic threatener. All right. Nice to talk to you. Man of honor. Alright. We need to, uh... I think we might need to, uh, rest Oh, I didn't. Oh, you're right, I didn't. Fuck. Greetings right. and salutations. This guy. We're gonna vote for him. Ah, that is alright. Galerius. Did you know Okay, Galerius, that's 1-1. One, one. Keep the count, chat. The man is a hero. But of course... I hope that... Alright, 1-1. One, one. Uh No, that's a woman. That's also a woman. Me Apollo, keep you safe. Um All right, we have a couple of dudes down here. 1-1. One, one. We're going to vote for now that your master dropped out. How did you get down. in there, you cheat? What now? 
I'm not going. Based. Whatever. Citizen. Oh, you're gonna vote for yourself, truck sucker. Uh, is there anyone else who lives here? For you, stranger? Are you oh, the, I wish the daughter, other daughter? Barbarians in here. What do you want? I'm Sentia, eldest daughter of oh. the magistrate. But you'd know that if you'd been invited in here and introduced properly. What are you doing in here? And why are you dressed like that? It's called fashion, baby. Really? I'd never have noticed what with your flawless accent, appropriate attire, and impressive mastery of our customs. Now, remind me, why are we having this conversation? Um... Uh, yeah. I trust you can see yourself out. I can. Will she see this? Is looking a crime? It's a breach of privacy, maybe. I don't know. Alright, so... Is there a guy who lives here or no? Wait, where's that guy? Where's the guard? Uh, oh yeah, he's gonna vote for his fucking master. Bro, I'm not snooping around. I'm looking for your guard. Alright. Ah! That was close. Keep an oh, eye out Centilla, would you? What it uh, who are you gonna vote not for? Not that it's any of your business. But my loyalty oh, is okay. and always will be with Sentius. Yeah. Alright. Alright, so that's uh one two, I guess. I'm fucking trying. Um He has a list. Yeah, I know, but it doesn't say who he will, who they will vote for. Are they? I already took the list. Well, Oops. I think it, it, if you, all right. Fuck. What? All right. I already have the list. <laughs> Not sure how to browse it, but inventory. Flashlight. Uh. Mm, that, no. I don't know where, which one it is. There. All right. Uh. It doesn't say who they're voting for, man. All right, we have a couple of uh, douchebags hanging out in the tavern. Salve. Salve. All right, who are you gonna vote for? Oh, he doesn't like me. Hello there, friend. I'll just say I, I wanted to vote for the, the current magistrate. Do you mind? Uh, I took it from the shrine of Diana, only to discover you locked me inside with an angry hornet. Well, I'll we already had this conversation, bro. But perhaps you'd be interested in selling it to me. I mean, it's... I guess we can give it to him. It's, it's not oh, this well, for let sure. me know if you change your mind. But for now, can I help you with something? You can look at me when I'm talking to you. We're gonna vote for it. Yes, I suppose. Stability is always good for business. Uh, I'd like you to vote for Galerius. Yeah? And what's he gonna do for me? He's nothing. No, 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 we can change this. Would I give change your mind? Certainly. For a few thousand denarii. Uh, Alright, well I did scam it out of 5,000, so... Pleasure so doing business. Alright. Very well. Alright, that's 2-2. Uh, that's two, two. I have nothing to say to you. Oh, he's I love me. your clothes. So... Exotic. She's tripolar. Back again. Couldn't stay away, huh? Uh, yeah, she can't vote. All right. Alright, that's 2 2. 2 2. Alright, 
two, 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 two. Uh, the Rufius guy would probably vote for uh, the current one. I'm guessing. Is there any other men I forgot about? There's probably one up here. Oh, wait! Oh, yeah, yeah. The suicide guy, he's already dead, though. Right now, I, I would have to rewind time. Uh, he, he will probably vote. But I'm thinking I want to do the election if I can do the election without rewinding. Because you probably get a better ending the less times you fuck up. And create the time loop. Oh, Dooley. No, he can't vote because the reason why we're doing this election in the first place is locked up in prison somewhere. Alright, so there is a fucking guy living here. No, I haven't been in here, but he's the guy who owns the slaves. Or is it the guy down there, the Quinticus guy, who owns this too? The woman in the sewers? Women can't vote, man. What is this place? Graffiti. To survive, we must all be kind. Corrected to, we must all be wise. Corrected to, we must all be obedient. We must all be question mark. All right, money, money. Oh, this is the place. Alright. This is the crazy chick who skins the golden statues of I. What's the point if I can't even get up here? Fuck it. Fuck! Why can't I go on this? Alright. We're asking this guy. Who is he? Wait, where'd he go? Alright, you better vote for- Oh, I can blackmail him. Leave me be. Oh, I was still upset Move about the previous the black man. Get out of there. You know what? We're gonna have a fucking election now. All right. It's fucking two two. All right. How come you're allowed a weapon? No, I'm not. It's fucking two two. And uh, that's quite an impressive bow you have there. It, Just like Diana's. Who is? It? How is it two three? It's 2-2. Two, two. This guy is unknown. He doesn't like me, but that doesn't mean he like that he's... You look well, my sartorial friend. This guy, the other guy, and... Uh... Oh shit, you're saying the Rufius guy will vote May for... Apollo keep you safe. Alright, true. Alright. I was gonna say let's kill one of the guys so that we win, but we can't do that. Alright, let's have the election. Ave again. Uh it already happened. Did you miss it? What? Ave Who won? Uh it already happened. Did you miss it? What the fuck? There's no clock in this game. How am I supposed to know when the fuck it happens? Dawn. Wait, who won? You look well, my son. Hey. Ah. I hope. The <laughs> Hello. I'm ah, still here, so I'm guessing. 
Fuck. Bye bye. Wait, minus 3k! How much do I have? Oh my god. Fuck. Well. Scam it back from him? True. Can you scam infinitely? Fuck, he doesn't want very well. Hello. Well now you talk two thousand. Five thousand. Oh. Take it or leave All it. Right. Wait, wait, wait. Hmm, I suppose you here's your money. Now All right. Hello. Uh I can't you promise what is it? Don't even, don't even talk to me. All right. You, Sisyphus, attack or pursue the stone that always returns. The many shall suffer for the sins of the one. I had to reset. But first, let's see what's behind. God, they're owning me. It's almost as if you're trying to extend my life. All right, bitch. Can I get there without dying? Okay, far enough. All right, let's think about this. Uh, order, order. All right, first let's go to the uh, the flirtatious woman that is tripolar. Salve, friend. Mind telling me who you are and. Yes, alright. Uh, um, Pepe, yeah, it is. Oh, so. Lily is dying, but Lucretia can't help her without this sylphium. Take some of it and go quickly. Yulia? Oh no. Alright. Do I have to do the one with the assassin then? I need to stop Fabius. Alright, let me see. Alright, no, here it does it. Tell Malius you know his real name is Quintus, thanks to Claudia, and that oh, Nero sends his regard. Then tell him to withdraw from the election or at least that don't spend. What? Are you Alright. I'll go. That's very useful. Run, you fool. Alright, we'll see what the, if this woman if we can get it on with this woman this time around. Vote for Maliolus for a free drink at my tavern. No. Oh, you're here. I'm so glad you decided to visit. I'm Aurelia. And uh I hope I'm not being too forward, but right, that's fuck it up. the moment I laid eyes on you, I was intrigued. You're not like any Roman man I've ever seen. You seem so refined, so civilized. Alright, so these make her go batshit crazy for some reason. Not interested, don't waste your breath, I know you're a horrible person. This one seems too cruel. Maybe I should just go this. With incessant labor, the one I'm gonna go three. Lost. Oh, I see. You prefer the company of men. Maybe you should go and make friends with Virgil instead. I take back what I said. 
Suddenly, I don't. Dude, there is no so winning with this anymore. woman. Let's just forget that ever happened, so we can at least do business. So, what brings you to my tavern? Not in your tavern. All right. See ya. You, Sisyphus, attack or pursue the stone. All right, whatever. Um, we have to save his life. Yes. All right. There's still the guy underground. Yeah, that motherfucker. That's endgame, bro. This, uh, he's not gonna fucking vote. We don't. We don't need him right now. All right. Wait, he's not even standing there. Where the fuck is he then? Oh, because he got released. Oh. I hear them talking. Okay, so he's going to Ul Ulpius now. Alright, we need to follow him. Bro. What? Wasn't there a. Wait, we did this before. What? We jumped off this before. Alright, say it here. First guy breaks it. Oh. Alright. Uh, fuck, we're gonna get down then. What? Where the fuck was she? Fucking camouflaged. Salve, friend. Welcome to life under the golden rule. Ghastly thing, is it not? The fuck? How are you faring? Alright, we're out of time for this. I have to get to the chopper. Alright, it worked. Huh. What? Are you messing with me? No, you're free. I do that. You're both free. We're. We're free. We're free. Thanks to me, by the way. Thank you. Both for. It seems Galerius. fortune smiles on us after all. I'd better go and pay a visit to Yulia immediately. Uh, okay. Mm. Oh, here's the homophobe. Alright. Let's not fuck this up. This guy is as tough as the chick. Tavern chick. Alright, help me here. My name's Rufius. Better watch your step. Uh, are you the one threatening Virgil? I know what you're talking about. I know it was you. I know it was you. I found an incomplete letter. Yes, so what? What are you going to do about it? Uh, I'm gonna. This has to be the right option, right? He knows I can't do shit because of Golden Rule. I can't hurt anyone. It has to be one. And why should I? One true God says that for man to lie with another man is an abomination. Uh, well... Alright, which one of these? Two? There is only one true God, and he laid waste to Sodom and Gomorrah. Yeah, okay. 
who was it that said do unto others as you would have them do unto you? I There's am doing one. that. If I was about to get everyone else killed, I would want someone to stop me. Seems like nothing I say is going to change your mind. Smart. Now get lost. Fuck! We're done talking. I have nothing to... Dude, this guy is impossible. Hmm, a golden bow, just like Apollo and Diana. Where'd they go? Maniolus has withdrawn his candidacy from today's election. Unless any new challengers are nominated by nightfall, Sentient what? will be re-elected magistrate by default. No. Actually, I'd, uh, oh. I'd like to nominate myself, if that's all right. Of course, Galerius, that's your right. Citizens, the election will proceed. Salve again, friend. I went and did as you asked, and... It worked. It did. How is it possible that you've just arrived here and you already know everyone and exactly what's about to happen to them? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm busy right oh, now, bro. Oh, uh, of course. I'll leave you to it then. All right. Uh, okay. Last, we have to. We have to uh, bribe. Oh, maybe it's not here anymore. We have to bribe the guy. Fuck, he's not here. Fuck, I should have asked Rufius who he would vote for. Shit, now he's Malden. All right, it's fine. Uh, you there? How'd you do? Well, I'll uh, it's not for oh, sale. Well. All right, who are you gonna vote for? Sent the assassin. Yeah. Certainly. Uh, three thousand denarii. Pleasure doing business. Yeah. Very well. Another time. All right, I think we're good now, right? We must be good. Where did the Ulpius guy go? Alright, what's the status? A new face. Yes, new face. What's the status it of the election? It must be completed by dusk. It'll be between cent- Why do you- Uh, are we good? You think we're good, chat? Okay. Let's assume Rufius is against us. Alright. Then we have the Magistrate's Guard. And we have Virgil. Right? That's three. But we have... Um, the Cucksucker that we bribed. One. We have the Georgie guy. And we have... Uh, the guys who, who whose life we just saved, right? So that's three. It's three for three. What happens if it's a tie? Certainly. See you again soon, I hope. I'm afraid this area is private. I must ask you to leave. Oh, sorry. Uh... Can we get this guy to... What now? <laughs> I'm not. What? Right. Yeah. We can't get this guy to vote anyhow. Mm. On your best behavior, I trust. All right. So how do we? Where does he live? Does he live in the slums? <laughs> Ask the guy who withdrew. Oh, true. That's very true. Cause now we didn't blackmail him. That is very much true. All 
All right. Hello. Leave me be. Oh, he's molding. Regardless of who threatened him, he's fucking molding. All right. Uh, oh, there he is. Shalom, friend. Uh, wait. He, he can't even vote. Oh my God! What if he All can't right, even friend. vote? Thanks for the chat. It's uh, he's not. Election is over. No. Oh, Vega. Uh, it already happened. Did you miss it? What the fuck? And who won? When the fuck did it happen? Fuck! Fuck, he's still in here. And we didn't make any! The priestess? Yeah, what about her? It's not gonna help. See you again. We need to get this guy out so we can get the fucking tablet. Fuck. Do I, uh, can I reset without shooting anyone? Just by the portal, out of curiosity. Well, isn't that a big long bow? Uh, what the fuck am I doing here? Oh, I was gonna scam him, fuck. Alright, whatever. Alright, I have an idea. May reset. The forty nine melodies fetch again with incessant labor. The one may have The many shall suffer for the sins of the one. Four thousand, that's it. I gotta wait for this guy anyway. Oh, oh no. I don't wanna get locked in there. That would have been bad. Run. 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 I don't know how to fucking fit how to this like we'll get two votes if we do if we st stop this homophobic guy We'll get two fucking votes Salve friend Salve friend huh? Yulia All right I'll go Run you fool Hey, Quanathon, thank you for the 10 gifted, bro. Appreciate that. Sour soup with the sub as well. Really wow. nice. Welcome back. Isn't that a big long Yeah, I'll show bow. you a fucking oh, big a long bow. You... Alright, don't waste your breath. I know you're a horrible person. How dare you? Get away from me, you pig. What the fuck? Forgot to mad milk. That's true. But what the fuck? I reset motherfucking four times for this one, and none of the options are viable. The forty-nine melodies I... fetch again with incessant. Pain. 
What the fuck am I supposed to do with her then? I guess it doesn't fucking matter. Alright. I'm gonna buy this guy's vote. Hello there. Well. Oh well. Malia. Certainly. Very well. He has to fucking. Uh, he has to fucking run around and do his errands, and, and then he fucking uh, enters the race. But wait. I was just doing what the new guy told me. I don't understand. How did? Never mind. Thank you so much. Google how to solve it. Where's the um, the bigot sandwich guy? Face. Salve and welcome to a little. I hear. Nice to talk. We can't find him. The roofiest guy. Where is he? Maliolus is going to... Wait. Why do you look so happy? We're free. Maliolus just released us and we never have to set foot in that villa again. What? How? Galerius arranged it somehow. Really? That's... incredible. Don't forget to vote! Oh, what a relief. I don't know what to say. You don't need to say anything. Just rest up. Get your strength. Why are you back, taking credit, bro? And we'll Why are you saying like that? Properly when you're ready. I will. Thank you, Alpheus. I will. All right. Welcome. All right, bro. Bro, what the fuck are you doing? Don't believe a word they tell you. What? What what did he say? Shalom, friend. You mean where am I from and all that? Judea, originally. But when I was a child, I moved to Rome with my family, romanized my name and spent most of my life in the Jewish district of Trans Tiberim, across the Tiber from the main city. That's where I was when the fires broke out. Everyone was running toward the river, and I, listening to my inner contrarian, ran the other way. Every road leading out of Rome was in chaos. Full of people with all their belongings in carts, and brigands preying on them. Several hours down the Appian Way, I saw another Jewish family being attacked by three opportunists. So I picked up a branch from the side of the road, and went to defend them. I 
can only assume they got the better of me because the next thing I knew, I was waking up in a forest, by a river not far from here, with no memory of how I got there. It's strange though because I still had my purse on me. Why would a robber knock me unconscious and throw me in a river, but not take my coins? That is weird. A lot of good it did me, and that family. I sometimes wonder what happened to them. All right, I don't want to cut you short. Who gonna vote for? Hilarious. He saved. Nice. Fair enough. All, all right. right, friend. Uh, all right. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Are you in the elections? Salve again. How? Oh. Uh. All right. He's in the elections. Uh. Where did you go? Fuck. A new face. It must be completed by du It'll be between Sentius, the incumbent, and Galeb. Why all right, do you all right, all right, all right. Certainly. We have See to find. We have to find the the Rufius guy. Where is he? <laughs> I can't fucking see him. He's always patrolling and scoffing and sighing when I'm not fucking there. Or, or when I don't need him, brother. But now he's fucking nowhere. Maybe in the tavern. Fuck. It's not over, I just asked. I swear he's gone. Kaput merde. Is that him? Oh, there he is. Lance All right. Uh, are you the one threatening oh, Virgil? I know it was yes, you. So. I'm going to hurt you badly. You okay, it has to be one of these two. Two. Shall suffer for the sins of the one. There, Eros, that's how they turn you to gold. I literally picked all the wrong options. Every single one with this guy. It makes no fucking sense. Salve. Uh, you? All right. I'll go. Go, go, go. All right. So this woman. She. There's nothing to be done with her, right? And. Uh... I hope I'm not being you know how de All right. You, Tantalus, cannot catch the drop. It's fine. 
Well, this running a marathon will, uh... <sighs> talk, talk to her again? I can't talk to her again. Uh, dude, we don't need her, alright? She's a woman, she can't vote. What we do need is... This guy. Alright, fuck her. Name's Rufi. Any idea would I find a Roman plaque? No idea what you're talking. Fair enough. Uh, how did you want threading very well? Right. That was you. Yes. I think I just wanted to know. Yeah, that's what I thought. Now get lost. Ugh. Alright, we're still Whatever. cool now. Wait, 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 I need to ask who you're voting for. Uh, Meliolus. Not sure I trust Oh, Sergius. that's good. He'll vote for the our guy as soon as the drops out. Sin. How's he going to protect us? Alright, alright. That's good. Ah, and you I Um uh, Well my vote Well I help Wait, why is he not telling me about the the accusations here? <laughs> Some people say, I mean, which means, and I'm pretty sure. Good, the first. I'm glad it's best. Nice to talk. To. Like, what? Well, because you already know about it? Alright. Wait, did I take care of his. The. I, I can't persuade this guy. Why can't I persuade this guy? Search Rufy's room to convince him? No, I already did. And that's how I got him to confess. Check his house again? You think I'll find a gay porn magazine or something? Right, he's still running. Alright, we have time. I mean, the room was fucking... Fucking one square meter. Felt like I missed something. I mean, he has his golden sex doll. I'm only gonna take his fucking dollars. I mean, I already seen all of this. There's nothing I haven't seen here. And I already confronted him about it. Not from Kabash. Oh shit. Kabash to Kabash. What? I told her Krishi about the dreams I've been having and she said it might help her divine their meaning if I brought them down. Uh, <coughs> it happened again last night. The man by the river was there. As always, his face shrouded in shadow from the pe peculiar ram headdress. Once again, he introduced himself as Curdy and told me he dragged me from the river. He seemed to smirk as he said his name as if it meant something I couldn't understand. Indeed, the name rings a bell, but I cannot for the life of me remember where I heard it. I do not think I will sleep soundly again until I know. Who is Curdy? Who is Curdy? Alright, fuck it. Uh, we're gonna get his vote and we're gonna win. 
the Rufus guy's vote will be enough. Uh, did he already enter the race? Alright, just waiting for the fucking priestess. Come on, priestess. Chop, chop. Priestess, Maliolus has decided to withdraw from the election. Oh, well, that's surprising. But thank you for telling me. I'll let everyone know. Everyone. Oh, I didn't bribe the bow guy. Alright, bribing him now. How much money do I have already? 11,000. How'd you do? Hello. Wow. It's not for sale. Oh, well. Centius, I suppose. Oh, no, I can't do it now. Stability is always good for business. Certainly. Very well. We can't do it because he has to enter the race. That's what we were waiting for. Citizens, the election will proceed. Salve again. Alright, I'm busy, oh. bitch. Alright. Now, let's do it. Hello. One. Well, I will. Sit. Yeah? Very well. Not sure if we can trust this guy, but that's all we got. All right. Sentius, <sighs> military man, knows what he. And then I need to change no. that. Are you fucking kidding me, bro? Fuck. Idea what you're talking. I mean, bluff. Why? What is the point? I had this option before. It's, it can't be. It can't be. Yes, so. Yeah. Right, the lady has drugs? Welcome. She? Feeling alright? Sure. What do you want to know? Well, Gladly. No, oh no. Sorry, I don't mean to worry you, but no, that is definitely not normal. There was one other person who claimed she, but yeah, that I know wasn't. Her already. Anything about? She has no fucking medicine. That's a. Sh Fuck. Salve. <sighs> We have to make this guy. I hope you're coping. Maybe it's a, it's a... Yes, so... And why should I? The one true God.
Well, I wouldn't get so. Oh shit, we have options here. When we accuse him of being closeted, right? He just seems like a normal guy, Kim, you know what's your problem? Why are you so angry? That's, you should never ask that. I guess one. He makes me uncomfortable. Oh man. I don't like where you're going with this. You'd better take that back before I make you. Fine, I take it back. Smart. Now get lost. We're done talking. Bye! I have nothing to say to you, Kaput Mada. Caput mouth. Caput mouth. <sighs> Let's have the election now. A new face. Up. It must be completed by dusk. It'll be. Why do you. Up As I said, I'm planning to hold it before dusk. I just want to get it over with. Oh. Holding it early may prevent conflict between voters. Mm. Yes, I have overheard some rather unpleasant arguments. The last thing we need here is additional conflict. Very well, I'll get things started right All right, let's away. just see where everyone lies. Citizens, it is time. Let us meet to elect our magistrate. Time to go to the theater. I can block him. I can body block him. He never gets to vote. Hurry! Hurry! Oh! Go! Oh. Ah, oh, shit. Um... Magistrate. The candidates are Sextus Sentius Imperiosus and late nominee Gallus Galerius Helva. Marcus Maliolus Gurgis withdrew his candidacy earlier today. As agreed, we shall dispense with ballots and candidates will abstain from voting. Let's make this quick. As I say your name, call your vote. I'll start with you, Horatius. Sentius, of course. Georgius. Galerius. He saved the life of my dear friend Fabia. Dacius. Galerius. Virgil. Sentius. 
Oh, Pierce. It's a tie. Galerius, the man who saved my life. It's a tie. Ophius. Sentius. Citizens, you have made your decision. But it seems we have a draw. In the absence of a clear consensus, Sentius shall continue as acting magistrate until a new election is held, one month from today. My fellow citizens, today you have sent me a message, and I want you to know I have heard it loud and clear. I vow to spend the next month winning back your trust. Thank you for this opportunity, and may the gods Wait. watch over you. You, a new arrival, whatever your name is. You're responsible for this, aren't you? Nobody likes Caput Murday foreigners interfering in an election. What? Shut up and let the magistrate speak. Maliolus is going to be magistrate by the end of the day. You have no idea what you're doing. You're going to get us all killed. Just stay out of our way, and we won't have a problem. Wait, I will not allow you to do this. You're Sub showing your true Fuck. colors now, priestess. Your corruption sickens me. Demetrius, ignore her. Proceed. This is insanity. No. You'll doom us all. Lies. It is time the golden rule was exposed for what it is. A children's fable exploited by a treacherous I will not let leader you. still fear in all of us. The golden rule is real, you idiot. Shut up, all of you. The magistrate has spoken. I'm going to enjoy killing you, old man. No. The many shall suffer for the sins of the one. What kind of trickery is this? Wait a second. Will that happen if he wins? Will that happen if 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 the other guy wins too? When All right. Solve it. You? All right. Let... I'll go. Shit. Well, isn't that a big long bow? How do I? How do I heal? You, Sisyphus, attack or pursue the stone. <laughs> <sighs> All right, for fuck's sake, chat, help! This guy is impossible. Don't smash it. Okay, don't smash it. No, I. Yes. And. Uh. Well. Well. Why are you so angry? Why are you so angry? Or was there another option? None of your business, Captain. Fuck you! Alright, I won't pry any further. Smart. Or will I? What? I have nothing to- Ah, fuck you! Wait, the fucking quest, bro. It says, persuade Rufius to stop threatening Virgil. Figure out how to stop Virgil's harassment. That's all it says. Lucretia, no time to explain. I'm supposed to give you the Sylphium resin for Yulia. What? Quick. <sighs> just going to help us swallow this. Yeah, I know Virgil voted for the other guy. But Virgil won't change his vote. Ah, a fellow traveler from a far away land. Mm. 
Fuck. Talk to Virgil again? No, he, he doesn't give a fuck. Ah, a new fit I hit. Some people say, I mean, which means, and I'm pretty sure. Good, the first is to leave. The second is to remove the ruler from power. And it seems leaving may not be an option. Then why the fuck are you voting for this guy? Good question. It's best if I say no more, but I hope you will give it some thought. Let the assassin vote. Some people mean which me and I'm pretty good. The fa perhaps, perhaps not. It's best if I say no more, but I you wouldn't believe how often the new ones ask. There are much worse places to live out, but one. Bro, oh, I'd say that this guy is nice not gonna to budge unless I stop the harassment. I'm fucking hard stuck on this Rufius guy. He refuses to negotiate. <laughs> Fucker. I have I need Naivia? Why do I need her? I already... I already did her and I got the fucking... I got the fucking... Uh... Here. Treatment notes. Oh, you think the Rufus guy is sick with something? And I can tell him how to cure it? Oh, but why didn't he say so? He's just molding at everything all the time. Fuck! So the reset. Cerberus lifts his triple. All right, John. The many shall Lucasa. suffer Welcome. for the sins of the one. Lucasa, Bibu, and Manux. Thank you, ladies. Maggie Mai with the five gifted. Thank you very much, sir. See what he has. He never mentioned anything. I, I, I've attempted to quick save this Rufius guy. He's literally impossible, dude. Not the fuck he wants from me. Uh, you? All right. Uh. Run like the wind. I don't like to be a safe scummer. But uh. You, Tantalus, cannot catch the drops of... Greetings and Greetings. salutations! <laughs> Alright, where is this guy? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. 
don't believe a word they tell you. I believe you're right. Oh, there is. All right. Tell me about your issues. Mm. Name's Rufius. Better watch your step. All right. So, what's your story? Can't talk long. Got to stay sharp, but uh, family's from Solution. I know. Because we're all in grave danger. Is it not obvious? Mm. Magistrate Nid. If you were dealing with what I am, you wouldn't be. What either. are you dealing with? None of your business. In Troy to hit some coming chula. What is he dealing with? If we have to. Talk to the girl. If I did, do you think we'd... Hmm. I mean, all these people just bumble along like nothing's wrong. Well, we're one bad decision away from being wiped out. Like the last lot of people who lived here. Seems like I'm the only one ready for what's coming. Whatever that is. And when it hits, it's everyone for themselves. You've been warned. I don't know. But did you ever get the feeling some of these yes. statues are watching us when we're not looking? Like they're bonding, waiting for something. I don't like it. I think you're right. Of course I am. Fucking what I'm quick seven. Oh, you again. Naivia first. Wait, who's Lucretia? I forgot. Whatever. How are you supposed to look? He's not even asking for it. How are you Welcome. supposed to know? I already got the knowledge from Navia, the list, right? But what am I supposed to talk with her about? I'm so glad you didn't go through with it. Sure. For lack of trying. Do you really want to know? I mean, if somebody poisoned her, then surely they would have broken the golden rule and... So, maybe it's best we don't discuss it. Glad. I'm Lucretia. I'm tired. How? Galerius arranged it somehow. Well, she used to run the clinic. She was a midwife, not a physician. But she was the closest thing we had down here. And she was good, too. Until she suddenly lost anything. all interest in Just us. One day she told me she'd made some profound discovery about the golden statues. This changes everything, Thank she kept well, saying. Yes. But I had I no idea what she was talking about. The last time I saw her, the last time any of us saw her, she was muttering to the statues. Like she could talk to them. And then she shut herself in the palace, barred the door from the inside. And nobody's seen her since. She's been gone so long now, we figure she's either dead or up to something so strange that she doesn't want anyone else to know about it. But I really oh, wish I could reach her, because that's the only hope I have of solving a troubling problem, a real thorn in the poor situation. One of my patients is suffering from terrible rheumatism. His oh, joints are there we go. and he's in constant pain. That's why he's so mad. Ooh. I really shouldn't say. He wouldn't like it. And he's a little bit scary. It's fucking rude. He's become so irritable that the smallest things set him off. And I worry he'll end up losing his temper and lashing out. And you know what that means. I just know Navia would know how to treat him. 
assuming she's still alive. But nobody seems to know how to get into the palace. Ah, this is a, like an early quest I just missed. Alright, I know. You did? I figured out. That's I have your shit. unexpected. But tell me, what is it? Willow Bark. Willow Bark. I should have known. It should was have. under my nose the whole time. That's very helpful. Thank you. If this works, it should settle Rufius down some. I have some right here. Could Progress. you do me a favor and give him some of this? He'll just need to swallow a pinch of it. I'm hoping it will avert disaster. Alright. Right. Thank you. I'm really glad you arrived when you did. Me too. That's a Peace. Wait, right, did you enter? Salve again, friend. I'm busy. Oh. I'll talk to you soon. Alright. What business is that of yours? I figured out a treatment. Eat a pinch of this willow bark and you should feel better in no time. Willow bark? And this will work? Oh, thank God. Finally, some relief. This is what I've been praying for. Alright, maybe we get two birds in one stone now. Gone. Maybe we get, you know, you. him to stop I fucking with Virgil and in a lot his vote. Pain lately. The rheumatism, these cursed statues always watching in the crisis of faith. It was too much. Started messing with my head. This is exactly what I needed to set it straight again. I owe you one. Oh, you do? Sentius, military man. Wait, he owes me one. What he's doing. Which one should I pick? He just said one. He doesn't owe me two. Alright. No. You said you owe me one. Uh, who do you want me to vote for? Galerius. Fine. I'll vote for Galerius. Alright, that's all we but need. No more favors. We are square. Oh shit. It was literally only one. <laughs> I was just being silly, but it was just the one favor. Alright. Uh, where the fuck did she go? Alright, actually we should have just done the Virgil one, and then he would have... Ooh! A new face. Oh. I forgot Do to bribe him, right? Bribe him so many fucking times that... You lose track. How'd you do? How'd you do? Hello there! Well, oh well. Sent. Yeah. Sir. Pleasure. Very well. Pleasure doing business with you. Alright, finally! Election time! Oh, Vega. It must, it'll be white. As I. Very well. Very well. Run, you fools. Citizens, it is time. Let us meet. He's unaware. Oh, yeah, the fucking gladiator is gonna mess shit up. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Fuck. Where is it going though? Where is it going right now? Cause the other guy is not here. He's just gonna stand here? Fuck.
Fuck. Ah, shit. Uh, we need to... Oh, we need to bribe this guy somehow. Has gathered here to elect the city's magistrate. What's that name? The candidates are Sextus Sentius Imperiosus and late nominee Gallus Galerius Helva. Marcus Maliolus Gurgis. It's all to me. His candidacy it's not up to me. Today. As agreed, we shall dispense with ballots and candidates will abstain from voting. Let's make this quick. As I say your name, call your vote. I'll start with you, Horatius. Sentius, of course. Georgius. Galerius. He saved the life of my dear friend Fabia. Dacius. We don't need Galerius. the fucking lore of your Virgil. votes. Go. Sentius. Ulpius. Galerius, the man who saved my life. Rufius. The man who treated my rheumatism. Galerius. Citizens, you have made your decision. Your new magistrate is Gallus Galerius Helva. What? It has been decided. Magistrate Galerius, would you like to make a brief address? Uh, um, I just want to say, this isn't something I ever wanted. Now that you put your trust in me, I'm going to do everything I can not to let you down. I'll need some time to put together a list of the changes right, I want good. to make around here. But I promise you, there will be changes. My first order is that Dooley is to be freed. Horatius, release him from his cell immediately. Please. Wait, do I need to say please? I suppose not. That's it. You can all get on with your day. Nothing else to see here. Alright, we're good. Oh shit, alright, that was just fucking... How are you doing, man? You mauled? Bro? We're finally alone. I assume you already know. Yes. We have? I'm a, is that about? Ah, uh, look, it's un now. Alright. Thank you. There's a fight. Fuck the priestess. priestess. Magistrate Galerius here has ordered your release. You're going to let me out of here. And remember what I'm we sorry, talked about, so Dooley. And it wouldn't have happened Black at all if it wasn't for me. Newcomer. So be sure to offer your thanks when you can. I will. I will. Thank you, Galerius. I'm so happy. I'd love to stay and chat, but I've got a lot of work ahead of me. Why don't you go to the baths, then tell Georges I said you could have some new clothes. Then I want you to go home and rest. I'll speak with you soon, Dooley. Uh... Hello? I'm Dooley. Magistrate Galeria said I should thank the newcomer. Are you the newcomer? I am. Oh, it is you. Then, thank you. You're a big helper. I was locked up, but they let me out again. I'm so happy. I can tell. You can have my shiny plaque if you want, and maybe you can help me find my treasure. My friend Hannibal used to look after me, and he said he always would, but then he died. But before that, he told me if anything ever happened to him, I had to find something very precious. What was it? He gave me a key to the cisterns and told me to keep it safe. He said there's something very precious way up high. Please help me find it. Oh. Please. Where the chained up daughter is, there's a locked door. Is that it? Trust. Two locked doors, actually. Oh, thank you. Here's the key. Thank you, sir. Hope you find it. I will take good care of your In treasure. Sisters. Way up high. And also, oh, look over there. Something shiny. Is it treasure? Maybe it is treasure. I can see it from my 
You're just broken out by yourself, bro. In human strength. Alright, gimme, 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 gimme. Just take it. I already read that. Alright. We have two plaques. Um Which one is it that we're missing? Blood the Glenn Roman? No. The many shall suffer for the sins of the one. What what happened? What happened? Oh my god. He fucking stole something right away? Oh my god, dude. Alright, so we cannot, we don't have to, okay, we have to make this guy do everything but the election. We don't need the election anymore. We're just gonna let him sit there. We already have the key and we already have the plaque. Salve, friend. Alright. Oh, so. Uh. Yes, let's do that. Let's do that. Oh no. Let's do that. Let's Let's do that. Let me see. Stop Fabia going in, but send the new But let's not do this one. Uh, Alright, so he's gonna be let out. Alright, so he's gonna be let out eventually. It's gonna take a long ass time before he gets actually let out because they have to you wait until dawn for the election. Catch the drops of uh, if I don't, you know, speed it up. And also, I would have to bribe, that's true. Otherwise, it's a tie. But we're gonna go and. <laughs> Get on the good side of. Alright, nothing. Um. Alright, so they have to do all that shit. We go into the fucking. We have two plaques. Which ones do we have? Greek? And the other one is already in, on, in the obelisk up there. So we need, we need Roman and a mystery, right? Do you? Yeah. Wait, I need Egyptian. Oh yeah, Kab Kabesh guy. Wait, who knew Kabesh? Wasn't it the woman in the tavern who knew Kabesh? Greetings and salutations. No, 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 but he told me about the woman. My. Ah, uh, please, let us leave the. Back for It's. The. Nothing! Nobody entered! And yet when I went, when I told my friend Kabash of this at the tavern, he offered to help investigate. He went in. Ah, right. Uh, where is the temple? It is the only Greek temple in the city. Head towards the baths, and it is the last building on your right. Gladly. I hope... Head towards the bath, last Java. building on the right. All right, so we've been here. We found this by mistake. Um, is it the the man? But he wanted to talk about something else. Like 
who the god is behind all this. Oh, that's Kabesh. Come and join me, but welcome, welcome. May I? I'm Pepeya. You first. It is best you do not know my name, for merely to speak of my existence in the city above could bring destruction on you all. Tell me. Uh, I'm looking for a plaque that was removed from the obelisk. I'm looking for Kabash. Ah, Kabash. I know this man. So this is not Kabash. He came through here some weeks ago. I will tell you everything I know, but first, a request. I have been living down here alone for many years, with nobody to talk to but myself. The one thing I long for above all else before I die is a good philosophical argument with somebody astute. I'm hoping that person Yeah, I'm is thinking you. this is... Let us find out with this simple question. Have you deduced the name of the god responsible for the golden rule? Excellent. I see you are indeed quite astute. Very few come to that realization you before their them? time in the sun is over. Now, will you join me in a friendly Socratic dialogue? Sounds this enough? Wonderful. Then let me begin with a question. Would you say you know the difference between right and wrong? You are an overthinker too. We're the same then. It is probably why I became a philosopher. But if you struggle with right and wrong normally, then down here with the golden rule, surely your struggle can only have become more difficult. It is. Well, that's reassuring. And the truth is, you're not alone. You see, out there in the world, being uncertain about right and wrong was acceptable because our mistakes rarely had consequences. So we would tell lies and bend rules and turn a blind eye and rationalize and yet still find a way to think of ourselves as good people. But under the golden rule, morality matters. The slightest wrongdoing could result in a mass execution. So to navigate this maze, we would have to be certain about the difference between right and wrong. Wouldn't you agree? Whose version of right and wrong? Always uh, spawn with a question. That is an excellent question, and it leads directly to my next line of inquiry. So let me ask you this. Is there one system of morality which is always perfectly correct, which you could follow in every situation and always do the right thing? Your own. No, I don't think so. Is there one system of morality which is always perfectly correct, which you can follow in every situation and always do the right thing? No, I don't think so. Are you sure? Or is it possible that humans simply haven't figured out the right system yet? I suppose we just haven't figured it out yet. After hundreds of years, and as many great thinkers dedicating their lives to these questions, what hope do we have if our best and brightest haven't been able to answer them? Right, I'll have to change my answer. Good. Never discourage anyone who continually makes progress, no matter how slow. Would you say you know the difference between right and wrong? You are an overthinker too. But if you... Well, that's... You see... So, but under... So to navigate this maze, we would have to be certain about the difference. That is an excellent... So... Alright. There is more than one. 
How can that be? Since they all have differences, it follows that in some cases they would offer different conclusions about what is right and wrong. If there is a correct moral code, then wouldn't it follow that only one can be the correct one? The correct moral code depends on the laws and customs of whichever society you're in. There we go. Ah. You know, I think you'd find an ally in Herodotus, a scribe from among my people who lived some 400 years ago. He told the story of a man named Darius, whose curiosity was piqued when he learned that a certain tribe had the practice of eating their dead. He asked some Greeks who burnt their dead, what would it take for you to eat your dead? Aghast, they replied, nothing. Then he asked the tribe who ate their dead, what would it take for you to burn your dead? Nothing, they replied, equally aghast. From this, Herodotus concluded that custom is king, that right and wrong are merely local ideas which do not survive the journey from one tribe to another. I take it you're in agreement? Yes. Then let me ask you this. If you visited a tribe where they ate each other, copulated with the dead and drank wine from cups made out of human skulls, would you still maintain that within such a tribe there is nothing wrong with such conduct? Uh, would you still maintain that within such a tribe there is nothing wrong with such conduct? Yes, there is nothing wrong. Hmm. Disturbing. And while I do not agree with you, at least you would have the support of Herodotus. Do I want to change my answer? Good. Never discourage anyone. Oh, would you, bitch? You are, but if, well, that you so, but un so. That is so. Are you sure? So is it up to each of us to decide what right and wrong mean to us individually? That's what I said from the start! Fucking <laughs> cocksucker! That's why I said it's more than one! Fucking bitch. Decide for ourselves. So if a man feels that stoning to death his unfaithful wife is right, then is it right? It's right for him. I agree. But why? Didn't you just say right and wrong depends on... You didn't even give me an answer! A fucking... another possibility! Where's the yes answer? <laughs> I see. So you get to decide right from wrong. The people who see things differently are not allowed. What makes you special? Empathy. Empathy? The emotion? Let me ask you this. Imagine you were forced to choose between the death of your beloved spouse and the death of two innocent strangers. Knowing there will be no legal consequences, who would you mark for death? Of course, everyone would. Our empathy, like a siren song calling us away from our true path, would lure us toward the greater evil. Can such a beguiling thing be a reliable cornerstone for anything, let alone the perfect moral code? Is there a right answer for this guy? Good. Never discourage anyone who continually makes progress. No, would you say? All right. No. You are an oaf, but if you. Well, that's you see. So, but un. So. Uh. So to make this maze, we would have to be certain of the difference between right and wrong. Wouldn't you agree? Of course. So let me ask you this. 
Is there one system of morality which is always perfectly correct, which you could follow in every situation and always do the right thing? Yes. Let me guess. Is it yours? Mm. Ah, so you think of all the thousands of competing morality systems that exist. All of them were wrong, except yours, which is always perfectly correct. Yes. And you can follow that system in all situations, because there is only ever one possible interpretation. Yes. I honestly can't tell if you're seeking to frustrate me, or if you genuinely believe what you're saying. <laughs> Welcome to my life, bitch. Then you are an absolutist. I can teach you nothing because your mind is closed. And you can teach me nothing because your position is irrational. Leave this place. There is nothing more for us to discuss. Oh! Is this the one I need? No. Fuck. I'd rather not waste what little. T Fuck you then. Bro, was I right the first time? Should I have just gone like. Should I have gone, what's your opinion? I, he made me maul because he was fucking annoying. So you stoned Nanny to death. Had sex with her dead body, then ate her, then drank wine out of her skull. At least we finally have the truth forcing. <sighs> Would you rather I burn her? Citizen. I didn't cocksucker, you owe me. Name's Wait. No idea what is you're it, talking about. Does he owe about. me? It's. I know that's not oh. an excuse for how I acted. But. He owes me. It's the truth. But. With the willow bark, I'm already starting to feel like myself again. I'll leave him mm -hmm. alone from now on. Right. It's not as if I was ever going to hurt him anyway. I was just lashing out. I'm going to go and clean up the graffiti. Just graffiti. Forget this ever happened. Will you? Alright, no problem, bro. Alright, I take care of your shit. Ah, a new face. I hear. Don't worry about the threats, it's just Rufius, it's never gonna uh, hurt you. What demon or spirit told you about that? Found an incomplete note in his you house. Snooping in his place? That was risky. We're lucky you didn't cross any lines. Have you spoken to him about I it? Yeah. And he won't be bothering hey, you anymore. How did you manage that? Bro, you don't need to know, but I followed you. Ah, uh, poor fellow. I've heard that can really mess with a person's head. Well done for figuring that out. Happy to help. Really? That's promising. I'll keep an eye out for him. Nice to talk to you. Alright, you're welcome. Really? We don't need to vote. We, we already have the plaque. Wait, we have the plaque, right? The Greek plaque. Yeah, we have it. We get to keep all the items. Hey! You're not thinking about going into the cistern, are you? No.
Don't enough. Okay, so it wasn't for this one. Is it for this one? It's this one. Alright, what's behind this door? The guy rolling the stone. Rolling stones! Wait, where are we? What the fuck? We're over here! I guess we need this entrance for people to escape or something, right? Alright, we put this here. Alright. Alright, so... Baba... Baba... Wait. Wait, wait, wait. Fuck. I have to... Win the um, debate. It's not even a debate. Who is he to say? It's not a fucker. Okay, so it's the Bob Baba Shish, whatever it's called. That guy was in the cave. That plaque behind him was that the plaque I needed, or no? Was that a random one? That's the plaque I needed. I don't think that's the plaque I needed. It, it said Greek. I think I already have Greek. I'm dead. It's fine. We unlock the shortcut. Can we put this in? Alright, uh... Shoot. The many shall suffer for the sins of the one. The many shall suffer from the sins of the one. Oh shit. So I, I feel like I first tried the debate. I just should have clicked what's, what's your point, right? Sup? Oh, you look... Poor. All right. I'll go. Run as the wind. You, Tantalus, cannot catch the drops of water. All right. Come on. 
Come and join me, but well, it's a tell. Ah, Kabat, I will tell you everything I the what let us X now. Sounds easy. Wonder, would you say? I. You are an. But if. Well, that you so. But un. So. That is so. How can that be? Since they all had differences, it follows that in some cases they would offer. If they. Ah. He told. He up. Then he. From. I take. Then would you. Hmm. My point is this. I don't think anyone alive truly knows any hard and fast rules about right and wrong. Fair point. If there is one thing I, I have pretend observed to agree with him. Rules, it is that virtuous people do not need them, and evil people will always find a way around them. And so we must accept our limitations, and the sad truth that no human society will ever achieve the utopia for which it strives. In mathematics, we would call it an asymptote, a line that can be approached but never reached. Because the only way to create a utopia is with the ever-present threat of force, such as the golden rule. This and no other is the root from which a tyrant springs when he first appears as a protector. And life under tyranny is no utopia at all. I agree. I'm glad to hear that. Mm -hmm. In any case, thank you for humoring an old man. I would be happy to answer your questions. Alright, where the fuck is Kabash? I will tell you, but you may find him hostile. To prepare for your encounter, there are certain things you must know. Very few know this, but before the Romans came to this city, it was once entirely Greek. The architecture, the temples, and the people. When the Romans came, in typical fashion, they claimed it as their own, built over everything that could be built over, and renamed the things that could not. Thus, the shrine of Persephone became the shrine of Proserpina. And when they found an obelisk bearing the name Hades, they tore it off and replaced it with Pluto instead. And the city's dwindling Greek Don't residents, witnessing this compulsive Roman conquest, decided to preserve what they could of their heritage. They gathered their art and valuables, secreted them away through the Temple of Demeter, and hid them here, out of reach of the Romans. I'm with you so far. However, there was one thing that always seemed out of place to me, and it is the very thing you seek. An even older plaque bearing an Egyptian How did you know I was seeking an older plaque, Egyptian? We had no idea until years later, when the first of my friends began to die. As a result of their deaths, we began to dig catacombs branching off from this cavern to lay them to rest. We extended the tunnel so far that we accidentally discovered another, an even older tunnel, which somebody had gone to great lengths to keep hidden. Suddenly it made sense why there was an out-of-place Egyptian plaque among our people's possessions. You see, we proud Greeks had thought the Romans beasts for stealing and corrupting our heritage. But it turns out this game has been going on much longer than any of us imagined. I think it is best you head through the catacombs and follow Kabash's trail. Alright. What's in there? There are certain things you must see for yourself. Take this key. You'll need it to open the gate. Alright. Pleasure doing business with you. What's your story? You mean, how did I end up living alone in this cave with nothing but these relics of the past for company? It's a long story. I'm listening. I was a quarrelsome young man. At 19, I left Corinth for Rome to study rhetoric at one of her finest academies, so I could argue more forcefully. Back then, I used to enjoy verbally sparring with everyone I could, and I was good. One night, I found myself in a tavern in an argument with a drunk mercenary. It became heated. He drew a gladius, 
and I won the arguments, but lost my life. I woke up on the banks of the Styx at a campfire opposite Karen. Of course, I tried to persuade her to let me return, but even with all my skill, he knows. I failed. I settled in, made friends, and learned what I could, quickly realizing our little community faced certain death under the Golden Rule. So I began looking for a place to hide underground. Fortunately, I found this place waiting for me. You see, I was not the first to take refuge here. I returned to my friends above, persuaded them to join me, and twelve of us descended for the last time to live out our days hidden from Hades' tyranny. You mean Pluto? Why can't you tell me your name? I fear that if you were to utter my name in the city, even by mistake, that Hades would hear you and know I am still alive. Uh-huh. Where's everyone else? I'm afraid I am the only one left. There were 12 of us in the beginning. One by one, my friends passed away. Uh, Some are you fucking position, Jesus or what? Others from madness and despair. It has been lonely. Before my unexpected visit from Kabash some weeks ago, I'd not seen another person in many, many years. All right. As you wish. I'm uh, busy. I enjoyed our chat, but please. Keep my presence here a secret, yes. Mm-hmm. Let's see. Alright. Hello. Friend of the philosopher. board game locked from the other side huh we'll see about that Egyptian plaque. Hello. That's right. Nothing here. Stop. 
I'm Pepeya, who are you? I am Kabash. Oh hmm. shit, Kabash. And let me guess, another Greek or Roman come to loot and plunder the resting place of my ancestors, hmm? Uh, just one plaque. Hmm, trousers, boots, curious hair. No, I suppose you do not. Then what do you want? I'm just looking for an hmm. Egyptian plaque. To what eh? end? Uh, I want to return to the obelisk. Mm, that is welcome news. You really are not Greek or Roman, are you? I was planning I'm to Swedish. return it myself, but for now, I must remain. Here, take it, oh, and restore the honor of Osiris. Thanks. That was a little too easy. Now, as for the other plaque. The fourth plaque? Know about that? Indeed. I have it right here. I stumbled across a collection of dusty curiosities while searching for a place to hide from the hungry children of Amit. And there it was. May I have it? You may not. In oh. fact, I am about to destroy it. Why? Because it speaks a treacherous, blasphemous lie. Oh, how so? I will tell you. But first, do you know what this place is? What? <laughs> Egyptian underwear? It has a name, and that is the Duat. See what has become of it. I have been down here for weeks, piecing together its story. And here is what I have learned. As Egypt declined and the Greeks had their turn to flourish, their souls came here in great numbers. But instead of adopting our ways, they copied and corrupted them. When they found the obelisk bearing the name Osiris, the true god of the underworld, they desecrated it, removing his name and replacing it with Hades. Even the ferryman of the dead, known to my people long before as Kerti, they renamed to Keron. As if Karen. that desecration was not enough, they built over this place, using it as the foundation for their own underworld, so that ours was forgotten. Hmm, <laughs> my only solace is that the Greeks then suffered the same fate when the Romans rose to power, renaming Hades to Pluto, and the cycle began anew. So what is the problem with this plaque? It is inscribed with a script I do not recognize, but it is ancient, almost as if it is older than the plaque bearing Osiris's name. But if that is so, it would imply the gods of Egypt are mere imitations too, copied and corrupted from an ancient people that who makes prospered you mad? even before us, and that my people did to them what the Greeks and Romans did to us. But this, uh, I cannot accept. Uh, I sense a deception. Perhaps it is the work of Set, the usurper, seeking to undermine Osiris once more. What does the inscription say? You will never know. This work of sacrilege must be destroyed, thrown into the black abyss below in Osiris' name. Ah. Uh... Please don't. You are too late. It is done. I wish you hadn't done that. Now I'm gonna have to go in after you it. You would plunge into the depths of the Duat with no way back up. Madness. Well, it's pulling Hercules. Hmm, we shall see. That's your definition of destroying something? Dropping it into water? Alright. I got the plaque, motherfucker! Alright, Egypt underworld. Oh, she's pointing that way. She 
knows the way. Ancient stone tablet. Stranger, heed the final words of Nam Kuzu. Bear witness to our aftermath and lament us. We did our best to live as the gods commanded. We planted and harvested together. We shared bread and beer. We accepted newcomers with open arms as if family. But with each newcomer, the bonds of our family strained, and soon we were as strangers, as strangers to each other. And when those bonds were finally broken, my brothers and sisters planted only for themselves, and ate and drank alone. And it was there, in the empty space between us, that sin took root. Nergal sentinel have awoken, and clamor at our barricades, learned from our mis... mis I have no idea what the fuck that means. Ah, oh, that was bad. Oh. Alright. Thank God I have superhuman reflexes told you that you would not find a way back up. That was not a prediction. That was a promise. You will die here. There is no need for this to end in violence. I disagree. I warned you against coming down here. Against perpetuating this sacrilege. But you persisted. What the fuck are you down here? You have undermined and dishonored the true god of the underworld. How did you think this would end, if not with bloodshed? Just hear me out. Very well, I will listen. But if I sense deception, or if you further insult my gods, I will carry out my threat. So tell me, why should I let you live after you salvaged this instrument of blasphemy? Uh, if something can be destroyed by the truth, it deserves to be destroyed by the truth. There is no shame in building on the works of people who came before you. I'm just trying to replace all the plaques taken from the desecrated obelisk. Ah, uh, I think one is a good idea. Then you admit it. You wish to destroy the sacred beliefs of my people. I will not allow this. Many of my ancestors endured great hardship to live good lives so that we may descend to the Duat in death and be judged accordingly. We prepare to have our hearts weighed on Anubis's scales and to swear ourselves innocent of sin before the 42 assessors of Ma'at. That makes sense yet, though, as the people that came the before the Egyptians. If the tablet references Nebel, then that is the husband of Eskibor, goddess of the underworld of Sumerian myth, the land of the dead class. Take us into obedience. Hey, I don't know who the fuck Uruk. The people of Uruk are. Did our priests steal and embellish the stories of an older people and feed us all lies all our lives simply to trick us into obedience? Probably. Isn't being a good person a worthwhile pursuit in and of itself? I am not sure I follow. Speak plainly. Even if your beliefs about the afterlife weren't quite accurate, isn't the important thing they motivated you to live good lives? If you were only good in life because you expected a reward, were you really a good person? Pretty much the same.
Now you insult me and all of my ancestors. You have sealed your own fate. Wait. If you attack me, you'll break the golden rule. <laughs> Good. I welcome it. Ah, you see, the philosopher told me that each time it breaks, Osiris bellows with rage, and his voice shakes the very foundations of the earth. I can only hope one more tremor will lay waste to this fragile place once and for all, and you along with it. The many shall suffer for the sins of the one. When I told you that you would not that, you... I disagree. You... Very well, I will... Dude, I wasn't gonna run out of that cave, dude. That was fucked. Why should... Alright. I was just trying to replace all the plaques taken from the discrete obelisk. Why? To what end? Uh... I'm hoping it'll earn me an audience with the god of the underworld. But why? What business could you have with Osiris? Uh, I'm going to confront him about the golden rule. Blasphemous fool! You have sealed your own fate. If you attack me, you'll break the golden rule. Ha, <laughs> good. I Fucking cunt. The many shall suffer for the sins of the one. I was on something the first time around. I figured that there was an even better alternative, but yeah, all right. Have it your way. That you, I you, what that met we and did. I, I am. Uh. Hmm. Perhaps there is some truth in that. What is your point? Are you going to abandon a lifetime of a good character now that it matters most just because you found out you were misled? Mm, you are persuasive. Very well. I will let you live, and you may do what you will with that plaque. I will remain here for a while, and attempt to learn what I can about the foundations of my people's beliefs. Fine Go. by me, cocksucker. <laughs> Ah, oh, fuck. Well, enjoy the, uh... Swimming pool. Alright. This tunnel is fucking long. King Tank, thank you for 47 months, dude. Uh, Rex B with the Prime Sub. Ronum, WNB Haze, FX Cusa, Triona, Raise Your Dongers, Showmaker, and Show Fusion and Cannon. Thank you, dude. Sha. Wait, what? Oh. Thank you, ladies. Alright. Do you get up there? Citizen. We don't need this, um... 
Well... I like how the devs said this game wasn't about brute forcing to the ending, but put you in situations where you have no choice but to brute force lolly. That's true. Some of them. Alright, here we go. Oh shit. An audience. Hate us. Nurgle. I say Nurgle. The ones before. No? Didn't like that. Uh. Um. Ah, uh, fuck it, I guess. Okay, I see how it is. Fuck, I didn't look at that. Can I go out of this? Alright, now we're in the Egyptian one. I didn't fucking see. Alright, so who are these? Who's this Nurgle guy? Never heard of. Gathered, I've been known by many names. Nergal to the Sumerians, Osiris to the Egyptians, Hades to the Greeks, and Pluto to the Romans. But the one constant through it all has been my title, God of the Underworld. And I've been watching you with curiosity, mortal, ever since your life. You're unlike the others, aren't you? I like to and think what so. is more, you carry a weapon that was never intended for mortals to wield, and you do it so reasonably. But there will be time for your reckoning later. First, as a reward for undoing the desecration of my obelisk, I will allow you to satisfy your curiosity. Ask what you will. Okay. What's your story? My story is many thousands of years long. You will need to be more specific. What do you wish to know? Your God? It is a matter of perspective. God is a label I was given by you mortals, not what I gave myself. Your ancestors revered me because to them, my knowledge and technology made me incomprehensibly powerful, just as you might seem so to an insect. But despite all that, there are rules even I must obey. Why do you look and sound like a man? My kin and I all adopted this form long ago, so that we might better understand and communicate with your kind. In time, we grew fond of the sensory delights it affords. Desire, joy, ecstasy, even rage and sorrow, while an acquired taste can be addictive. May I see your true form? No. No. Long ago, I swore to Persephone that I would remain in this form for as long as we remained among your kind. 
I must honor that. Okay. Who's the woman on your left? This is my beloved. Like me, she has been known by many names. Eresh Kigal to the Sumerians, Isis to the Egyptians, Persephone to the Greeks, and Proserpina to the Romans. Or perhaps you might know her as the goddess of springtime, the cycle of life and renewal. Is it winter right now? Because it's fucking frozen. Your gaze lingers too long. And also... Right. That is my servant. You would have met by the river, though she wears many faces and goes by many names. Kumutabal to the Sumerians, Kirti to the Egyptians, Charon to the Greeks, and Charon to the Romans. Her role is to ferry souls between the mortal world and this one and to make their transition as seamless as possible. Sharon. For that, she earned herself the infamous, if erroneous, moniker, the Ferryman. You will talk more later. For now, ask your questions. All right. As you wish. What is this place? It has come to be known simply as the Underworld, and it exists because of a wager I made long ago. Was the bridge, that is a long story, one that began over 3,000 years ago and continues to this day. You see, long ago my kin and I set out from our home on Elysium to search for other forms of life among the stars. We discovered your planet and witnessed your kind evolving from primates into something lawless and barbaric. You all but destroyed yourselves. Your two short lives being extinguished by violence and ignorance and disease. Yet Proserpina saw raw potential in you, and persuaded the rest of us it would be squandered without our intervention and stewardship. So we revealed ourselves to your people in a place called Sumer. We offered guidance in agriculture, toolcraft, and law, and you called us gods. For a time, you flourished. But soon you were too many for us to oversee. And as you spread from that cradle of civilization, we saw something disturbing. We had sown the seeds of dependency and confusion. And soon you returned to your old ways of violence and ignorance. This time in our name. My kin Scientology is real. And gave up on your kind, condemning you as barbaric and chaotic, scarcely more than animals. We began preparations to return to Elysium, our home world, a utopia unspoilt by conflict and unimaginable in its beauty. But my preserpent could fuck not you bear in to the first abandon place. your kind without guidance, and knowing it would force the rest of us to leave her behind, she made an extraordinary sacrifice. She gave up her immortality to descend permanently to the ranks of humankind. And so she began her inescapable trajectory toward death. Horrified, I acted swiftly. I placed her in suspended animation in a deep frozen Oh, that's why her animation wasn't moving. Age and sickness from claiming Literally suspended and then animation. I with Proserpina's father, who the Romans called Jupiter, to bring her with us to Elysium. It was and is my hope that once there, we might one day learn to undo what she has done. But he refused. I did everything I could to persuade him, but he would not relent. He would rigidly uphold his final pronouncement. Humans were unworthy of ascension to Elysium, and no exceptions would be made. But seeing that I was aggrieved, he proposed a wager, the terms of which were as follows. If even one human city could prove itself capable of living without sin for a single year, then Proserpina and all of humanity would be permitted to join us in Elysium. My part would be to remain behind, the last of my kind, to watch over you without interfering, and to sit in silent judgment. And so my reward has been to languish here, enduring a 3,000 year winter, waiting for the day your kind proves itself worthy of her faith in you. 
so that I might take her with me to Elysium and unthaw my goddess of springtime. And here I am, after all this time, still waiting. All right. It is a regrettable story. One of the first men who came to this place was a king of Sumer and a troublemaker. To be rid of him, I returned him to his people on the condition that my servant erased his memories of this place. But the erasure did not take completely, and he told stories of this place as if describing memories of a dream. His tales were committed to writing, which came to be known as the Epic of Gilgamesh, his words were twisted and distorted over generations. Later, the Egyptians would adapt Sumer's stories of the underworld, making them wildly intricate and labyrinthine. Their Book of the Dead and Book of Gates bore less and less resemblance to this place in their priests' pursuit of profit. Then, when the Greeks began to arrive, they proved far more cunning. And in a series of incidents that will not be Repeated, five of them escaped. A warrior named Heracles, two kings named Sisyphus and Theseus, a poet named Orpheus, they and a Trojan the spaceship? named Aeneas. They each told embellished tales of this place, how to get here, and how to escape. And so from Sumer to Egypt, Greece to Rome, your kind has always told each other stories about this place though each story contained only a seed of truth. All right. Of course. Uh, so I guess you're responsible for the golden rule? That is rule? merely the name your people have given to it, but yes, it is my doing. All right. What do you consider a sin? I've always considered that the cornerstone of morality is the ability to determine right from wrong on one's own. No attempt to lay out rules like your Code of Hammurabi or your Twelve Tables of the Roman Republic can ever cover all possible scenarios. This should come as no surprise to you since the core principle has been expressed in many forms by many of your civilizations. The Egyptians made a rudimentary attempt with do to the doer to make him do. The Greeks refined it with avoid doing what you would blame others for doing. The Roman Stoics added, treat your inferior as you would wish your superior to treat you. Even the so-called cultists hiding among you often say, do unto others as you would have them do unto you. It is the simplest of concepts, cultists? and each one of you is born with the fact that Christianity? Is that what they're calling cultists? Yet none of the peoples who expressed ah, this I get it now. were able to uphold it. Curious, is it not? Alright. Doesn't seem like you've been upholding it either. Enough. You clearly know nothing. Nice. Nice argument, bro. Alright. I've seen some terrible things here that you didn't consider a sin. How could you let them happen? Do you plan to speak in sweeping generalizations? Or are you going to give me an example? Well, I tricked the assassin to die. Uh, but that's not in here. I guess... Experiments on the golden statues? The midwife and the palace, yes. How is that inconsistent with the woman? It's torture? She wouldn't have wanted to be experimented upon if she was gilded. The rule is do unto others, meaning other people. Those statues are something else now. Uh -huh. Bloodless shadows, nice mere loophole. shapes of their former selves. They are forsaken. What happens to them is no concern of mine. That seems like an extremely literal interpretation of the rule. Applying this rule always requires us to interpret the meaning of the words. A literal interpretation helps to minimize the ambiguities of your primitive language. 
Alright, if our language is full of ambiguities, then uh, doesn't that make the rule inherently subjective? Inherently? What a dumb dame. He is talking about not sinning, yet he is committing the biggest sin which is last. He is claiming to be God. What a poser, oh medal, so bad. Supposing you're right, then my law has been broken as you turn all the golden middle, is that what you want? Uh, no, never mind. <laughs> Now tell me, what other sins do you believe I have overlooked? Uh, it's no wonder people say the gods are cruel. This just shows how unreliable and subjective your moral code is. You're no better at judging right from wrong than any human. Do you honestly think you could do better? Yes. Then you are a fool. But what else did I expect from a now, this guy talks too fucking much. Before your record. <laughs> well, to be fair, I'm asking the questions. Alright. Very well. That's all the questions I had. Good. Then now it is time for your reckoning. Or is Only, it? It seems something is wrong. It has long been within my power to see into the hearts of mortals and weigh their deeds in life. But. When I peer into you, I see only a blank slate, as if you did not exist until you appeared in this city. How is this possible? Charon, where did you find this one? I do not remember ferrying you. How did you come here? Uh... I'm from the future. If that is true, then I sense the intervention of someone powerful. How did you come to be in this time, mortal? Who brought you here? I cannot know. Uh, uh, snitcher? I was hoping you could tell me. I do not know. My kin departed long ago, and Proserpina has slumbered for 3,000 years. Should you know this as the god of the underworld? I guess that means you don't know everything that goes on here. Tread lightly, mortal. Enough of this. It seems I will need to put your reckoning on hold for now. The answer is, why have you come here? What is it you seek? I like to put an end to the golden rule. I just want to get out of here. I'm here to kill you. I'm here to kill you. Shit. Which one? Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. A wooden bow. I like you to put an end to the golden rule. <laughs> your I know it's both. Amusing, so I will allow you to make your case. But I warn you, if you anger me or waste my time with lies or wrong-headed arguments, you face death here. So, tell me, why should I put an end to the so-called golden rule? If you're doing this for love, you should know that perspective Proserpina doesn't love you. How can you expect us to live without sin if you can't do it yourself? The golden rule is corrupting the city and ensuring you'll never win the wager. Enough talk. I go with two. That is a very serious accusation, mortal. What sin have I committed? What evidence do you have to support it? Didn't you abduct Proserpina and imprison her here? You've trapped people in the city against their will. You given terrible punishments to hundreds of people, some for minor sins and some who commit no sins at all. Yeah. Hmm. I am well aware of the story told by the Greeks and Romans of my so-called abduction. It is entirely unfair. My love was dying, and I intervened the only way I could to save her life. What would you have done? But then she cho cho chose to die? It was an act of rebellion die? against the others. She knew I would have to act to save her. 
and I did because I loved her. I love her still. Accordingly, I reject your argument. You reject my argument? You trap people in the city against their will. These people were all dead when my servant found them. I gave them a second chance at life. Would you prefer to have seen yes. me cease to exist? Maybe. Then you still have the option to end your life should you wish. And you are no worse off than if I had not intervened. Accordingly, I reject your argument. Okay. You've given terrible punishments to hundreds of people, some for minor sins. Every one of those people was guilty of failing to ensure their peers lived virtuously. They failed collectively, and so they were punished collectively. The Romans understand this, as did the Greeks before them. Where I'm from, collective punishment is considered one of the most egregious crimes there is. If our positions were reversed, you wouldn't want me to punish you for the sins of other people. Ah, but I am a god, and you are a mortal. Why would you expect me to treat you as I treat my own kind? You are not a peer. You are not a respected equal. Let me ask you this. Do you treat insects as you wish to be treated? Yes, maybe. Do you care for their well-being as you would your fellow man? Do you ensure they have food and shelter and protection from predators? Yeah. Do you give them rights? Respect small insects. Yes. I warned you not to lie. You will make a fine statue. Alright. Fuck you. A fucking... Wooden bow. Fuck it. Golden bow. What about? <laughs> Do you really think you can oh, wound shit. me, a god, with that primitive weapon? This idiot literally committed like four sins in this one conversation law, and he thinks he has the right to judge others. Well, he's dead, and Jesus could kick his ass. What a self-righteous well, loser! The Find out, shall we? How dare you threaten her? This ends now. The many shall suffer for the sins of the one. You will suffer My crown now. I fucking took it! Bitch! That's a naked ass. No! You vile, despicable creature! No, you vile, despicable creature. <laughs> ah, okay, I can die. Run. Ah, bomb away, bomb away. Are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? Fuck you. I might die. I'm gonna fucking eat someone's ass. Just saying. The many shall 
suffer. Fuck your conversation, bro. Bro, I can't dodge these arrows, man. It's fucking Minecraft archers. Fuck this lag! Go! Oh, fuck. Go! Oh my god. I have the crown! Fucking imbeciles. crown I bro What? That's a big ask. But something tells me you're not kidding. All right, I'm going to stick my neck out. But how does uh but how does the uh, doobie get released though? Yeah. Dooley, that's his name. Alright, where is this guy? On your best behavior, I trust. Where the fuck is this guy? Oh, another one fresh out of the baths, I take it. Shut up. I thought I told you to get out of my villa. I'm when? bored with you. What? I thought I told. What are you doing? Uh. Oh my God! Show Pluto. I thought I would show this guy. I was wondering why I would show the crown to this guy. Weapons are to be tossed into right, where the, the fuck? Oh my god. Uh, fuck. I don't know why I misread that, but in my head it, it said his name. That was indeed Pepega. And when the fuck did he tell me to get out? He never told me to get out of his fucking villa. And here you are. Allow me to introduce myself. Yeah, no, I know. The one constant, and I and what but they will first. As a reward for undoing. See this? It's Prosperina's crown. I, I would recognize that anywhere. And yet my beloved still wears hers. What is this? How did you come by it? I took it from her after I killed her in another timeline. You vile, despicable 
creature. He said the line. Why would you do such a thing? And worse still, boast about it. I didn't want to kill her. But if you don't put an end to the golden rule, I will do it again. You... You have put me in an impossible position. If I refuse, you will murder her. And yet, if I agree, I will lose my wager and return to Elysium humiliated and alone. That's the idea. Perhaps you are cleverer than you appear, mortal. I do not see that I have a choice in this. Your treachery and savagery have opened my eyes like nothing I have witnessed in 3,000 years. And now you have shown me your species' true colors. And I see that Persephone was a fool to have ever believed in you at all. This has gone on too long. It is time for me to let go of this form of her. Of all of you. But know this. If I abandon the way and leave for Elysium, neither she nor your kind may ever ascend. Fine by me. Hmm. Very well. I will have Carol make arrangements to ferry the others. And as for you, be aware you will be separated from the rest. Uh, why? Once this exodus begins, the events that brought you to this moment will never have taken place, and you will have created a paradox. What will become of you is difficult to predict, but that is the risk you have taken by interfering in the natural flow of time. Now, are you ready? Quiet. I'm ready. You would best pray our paths never cross again, mortal. bit of a fright. Thought I was in here alone. I'm Al. Al Worth, came in here to find you. Well, here I am. I'm sorry, I didn't catch your name. I'm Pepeo. Oh, did that lady in the forest send you in here after me? I guess I lost track of time, learning about the history of this place, and it is extraordinary. I'm fairly certain you and I are the first people to set foot in this city for about 2,000 years. Fortunately for us, the last person in here was a Roman man named Galerius, who inscribed an account into a tablet. Apparently, there was a community of 20-something people trapped in here, and living in fear of a curse they called the Golden Rule. They believed that if even one person sinned, an unknown god would cast them all into gold, like the thousand people who'd lived here before them. Then, one day, just as Galerius had finished praying for a good harvest at the Shrine of Proserpina, an oracle appeared and told him how to solve the ills of the city, like, and so on. Meanwhile, the oracle walked up to the temple of the mysterious god, this one right here, and demanded an audience. And the doors That's just me. opened up to him. Nobody knows what went on in there, but Galerius wrote the oracle must have been more persuasive than Odysseus, because the next thing he knew, the ground shook, and the voice of that god rang out over the city. The many have suffered long enough. Unfortunately, Galerius' account just sort of stops after that, leaving a lot of questions unanswered. What became of him and the other people who lived here? What happened to all the golden statues? And did this mysterious oracle single-handedly undo the curse that had terrorized people for hundreds of years? These Romans are crazy. I don't know. It reads like an earnest account to me. Anyway. I think I found a way out through the aqueduct that brought water into the city. Follow me. I die you. So will I be meeting that lady? No. Cosperina. So should I follow you or 
I'm gonna pause here for a moment and An immortal sure god just god wrecks it by Pepe Galor. H. I have now spent $335 on wanna, donations to foursome H. H. Seems, uh... Seems necessary. All right. You're back. But Karen, you're alone. Does that mean you didn't find out? I found him, all right. Oh, what a relief. Thank you so much. I was beginning to think you'd both become trapped in there. Why don't you tell me what you discovered while we wait? You know what you did. I discovered your real name. Ah, I see. I thought you might. Well, now you know. I suppose you have questions. Who are you really? You can just call me Charon, if you like. I am sorry I was not completely honest with you when we first met. I do not enjoy deceiving people. Believe me, I do not. But I have learned, from 5,000 years of experience, that most people find comfort in familiarity in gradual change, and coming to see the truth in their own time. Five thousand years? What truth is that? That you died, of course. You were dead when I brought you here. My role, as the servant of the god of the underworld, has always been to assist the chosen to cross the threshold from the land of the living to the land of the dead. How did I die? Hmm. Usually, when people do not remember how they died, it is because they suffered a terrible trauma. Most souls would rather not remember. Ask yourself honestly, do you really want to know? Yes, I want to know. As you wish. You were murdered. You made a purchase in a marketplace, and the change you received was, by mistake, a single silver coin of ancient origin. You were seen inspecting it, and soon after, you were set upon by two thieves. The shopkeeper who had given you the coin saw the scuffle break out and leapt to your aid. You both fought bravely, but your assailants were armed, and you were not. What? There was nothing you or your ally could have done. He died instantly at the scene. And you followed a few hours later. What the later. fuck are you talking about? That man's name was Al Worth. You were each in possession of a sacred coin, called Karen's Opal by some. And so it was my duty to bring you here. What's so special about these coins? Perhaps you have heard the tales of the Greeks and Romans bearing their dead with a coin in their mouths to pay the ferryman for passage across the river. Well, those stories contained a seed of truth, but not any coin would do. A long time ago, my master created a thousand silver coins and had me distribute them across the world. My orders were simple. Whenever a person died in possession of a coin, I was to locate them and ferry them here. Why? That is a question you would have to ask him, if that were still possible, in light of the path you have chosen. Then why the I fuck are you still here? Doing his bidding. Only now, I find myself bereft of purpose. You see, the coins on you and Al were the last of the thousand in existence. There is nobody else to ferry here. Nobody to keep you company. After 5,000 years, the underworld has finally run its course. Alright, can you return us to the land of the living? I see no point in keeping you here. But I have to ask one thing. That you keep this to yourself. Look! Here comes Al now! As Al, if I it's fucking, so good to see you. You were gone me. so long I thought I'd never see you again. 
Kind of lost track of time in there. You wouldn't believe what we found. The ruins of a long-forgotten city. And there was a tablet describing an oracle who confronted a god and undid an ancient curse. Sounds like quite a story. And I look forward to hearing all about it. But... You two look exhausted. Why don't you hop in my boat and rest while I... Ferry you back to civilization? Don't Sounds believe her lies, me. Al. And you? She's tripolar. Are you ready to go home? I can. One year later. <sighs> Private member wing. Hey, you made it. It's great to see you again. After everything you've been through, I thought you might appreciate some good news. So after we got back to the real world, I started doing some research into the people mentioned in Galerius's tablet, and I found something strange. Uh -huh. I'm sorry I've been so cryptic. I've been dying to tell you. I just really wanted you to see this for yourself. Why don't you head on down there? I'll catch up with you at the other end. Why don't you head on down there? I'll catch up with you. We're walking next to each other. Oh shit. You're finally here. Remember me? What the fuck? It's a crazy story. After you disappeared, Karen appeared and told us she was returning us to the world. Even gave us some coins to help us start our lives over. Only, for some reason, she returned us to your world instead of ours. Anyway, I know we only ever had that one conversation, and I wasn't even sure if you'd remember me, but I wanted to say thanks for freeing us from the underworld and giving us a second chance at life. Alright, you're with Equidia now? I know! I can't believe my luck either! But we're engaged and living together. We're planning to get married next spring. If you're going to be around, we'd love to see you there. Uh, we'll see. Good to see you again, man. Of course, there's a whole museum full of people waiting for a chance to thank you. So you better keep moving. Uh. We'll speak again soon, my friend. Oh, hello. Speed. It's you. Violence. All right. You're here. It's lovely to finally meet you. Galerius told me all about you. Oh, there he is. So, you're the hero who somehow vanquished the last of the Roman gods. As I'm a priestess, you realize you've put me out of work. I'm just teasing. Actually, and it still feels a little sacrilegious to say this, I'm finding life after religion quite enjoyable. Hey! We got one. What are you doing with yourself these days? Galerius and I are engaged and expecting. We've just bought a lovely villa in the countryside, with room for a large family, and Dooley too, of course. Mm -hmm. It feels like the world has just opened up for us. There's so much to learn, and so many more possibilities for our children than we ever imagined. We're just so thankful for what you did for us. For all of us. I don't know what the fuck I did anymore. Good see to see you, you though. Wedding, I hope. What's up, Dooley? Hello, I'm Dooley. I remember. Galerius said you're very nice and a big helper. Thank you for getting us out of the bad place. I didn't like it. Alright, what are you doing these days? I live at Galerius and e Equitia's house. They look after me now and help me remember when I forget things, like brushing my teeth. Alright. Good to see Bye -bye. you again, man. Hi there. Like the statue? You are here. It's nice to finally meet you. Lucy is fine. I'm making an effort to blend in, as you can see. We are all trying to keep a low profile. 
if the world knew we died 2,000 years ago and were suddenly brought back to life 12 months ago, they'd never leave us alone. Speaking of which, I wanted to say thank you in person. I'd say the gods smile on you, but I hear you drove the last of them off. So... Alright. I'm studying to get into medical school. As much as I resented the responsibility of keeping everyone in the city alive, when it ended, I realized I missed it. So I guess I'll just keep saving the world, if begrudgingly, one patient at a time. Good shit. Good to you see too. You. Don't be a stranger. Yeah. Hey. Evening. Horatius. Hi there, I'm Horatius. Mm, nice to meet I you. I understand we have you to thank for giving us a second chance at life. And reuniting Santilla with us as well. So, thank you. I'm sorry you never got to see your girl again. What happened to your buddy Domitius? He's not my... Oh, I see what you did there. Good one. He had more trouble adapting than most. He got himself disqualified from the UFC. So he started some kind of underground blood sport tournament, like we had in Rome. Suppose it appealed to people's baser instincts. And they say he made some good coin, killing a bunch of men like that. But his luck finally ran out. And his life along with it. You know what they say. Live by the sword, die by the sword. We don't really say that anymore, but... That's a shame. Mm, perhaps. Alright. And you. Farewell. Who is this again? I forgot who this was. The daughter? Was it the daughter that was uh, tied up in the tower? Or the da other daughter? In the house. Oh. Oh yeah, whatever happened to the daughter that was chained up? I take it you're the Oracle. Thanks for coming. That's what... Actually, I in. changed my name to Cynthia. I didn't want to be associated with Sentius after what happened. I'm not sure if you heard, but after you drove Pluto off, Proserpina emerged from the Great Temple. She knew right away what none of us had figured out about that psychopath. He'd been keeping my little sister locked up in the upper cistern all that oh, time. Oh yeah, I knew about but that. He's Maybe been I should have done with. something about that. Uh, you know what? The important thing is, we'll never see him again. So what happened to him? He's still there, all alone. The last golden statue in the underworld. Trapped in a metal shell, slowly losing his mind until the end of time. Eternal I mean, he torment, wanted, uh, just what he deserves, so. if you ask me. He did once tell me he wanted to live forever. Oh. <laughs> then I suppose he got his yes, wish. Yes, I already made the joke. Very funny. <clears throat> what are you doing with yourself? Anything I want. I'm a woman of means in a vast new world. I can go wherever and do whatever I please. Of course, I mostly just stay in my villa and have my servant Alexa summon things for me, because it's just awful out there. Barbarians everywhere. You too. See you around. Alexa. Magnificent museum, is it not? Very much so. Greetings. You must be the legendary oracle. It is a sincere privilege to finally make your acquaintance. I am Georgius. I am told we have you to thank for freeing us from Hades. And for that, I am most grateful. Alright. Having the Fabia. Ah, the poor sweet thing. Perished in a shrine collapse before the rest of us were saved. Ooh. It is the one regret I have in all this. Ah, I say that every single fucking time but the last one. That is unlucky. That is unlucky. I wish I'd save her. My friend, there is no need for you to apologize. You have done more than enough. 
I like it. You too, my Greetings. The Hermit Philosopher. So what is your name now? You can tell me. I take it you're the oracle everybody's talking about. It's a pleasure to finally meet you. We have... I'm sorry, I don't remember. In any case, I'm Philip. I never thought Philip? I'd leave that cave, let alone the city. And now I'm living in the 21st century. What a time to be alive. And it seems I have your catabasis to thank for it. What the fuck, I'm working Philip? as a consultant to the faculty of classics some fucking Greek at Cambridge philosopher University, or something. helping fill the, the odd fuck is gap Philip? in their knowledge. Not that I need the money, but I do love being around enlightened minds again. Alright. My sincere thanks once again. Hey, Good yeah. evening. Hello there. Where the fuck is Octavia? Oh, hello. It's lovely to meet you. I've heard so much about you. I'm thankful that you're here. I was sure the person who drove off the last pagan god would have more important things to do than visit the likes of us. But thank you for coming and for saving our lives. What you did was extraordinary, and I'll never forget it. Oh, the lady on the upper parts. Well, I don't fucking and care you. what you're doing. I don't talk to you, really. What? I hope this isn't too far, but some of us are going out for drinks after this, if you would like to join us. Sure. Wonderful. I'll see you soon. Mm. Mm. Greetings. Mm-hmm. You look well. Thank you for your kind words and for liberating us all. In all the time I was in the underworld, I never once imagined that I might end up in a place so much like Elysium. How the fuck do you know about that? What are you doing with yourself these days? I'm recovering. Octavia was kind enough to let me stay with her for a while. At least until I'm well enough to be independent again. And you. Farewell, friend. Farewell. Some soiree, innit? Ah, oh, hello at last. This you must be the oracle I've heard so much about. I'm Dacius. Uh -huh. Listen, I wanted to express my sincere appreciation for what you did. If it wasn't for you, I'd never been able to sell all those useless old relics I accumulated. Whatever you did in that temple made me a very wealthy man. Thank you. <sighs> no need to thank me, it was entirely unintended. Such a serbic wit. I love it. Mm -hmm. So what are you doing these days? I took the money I made from selling my trinkets and started investing in the stock market. That's where the real money is now. In fact, I was hoping to ask your advice. You being the oracle and future seer and all Surprised that. Didn't say on Bitcoin. Which stocks I should invest in next? I can't decide between fossil fuels, tobacco, gambling, and arms. What would you recommend? Uh Can't really see the future, I'm afraid. Oh, don't be like that. You can tell your old pal Dacius. I won't take no for an answer. DVD rentals have a bright future. Broadcast television is going to be the next big thing. Print media is going to make a huge comeback. DVD rentals, man. Oh, of course, yeah. I was just thinking the same thing. I'll go home and buy up as much stock as I can tonight. I'm going to make a bloody fortune. <laughs> of course, don't let me keep you. Thanks again for the tips, my friend. You're welcome. Up. It is an honor to finally meet you. Yeah, you tried to tell me before, but okay. You know my name? Oh, of course. You are an oracle. You know many things. I too would like to offer my thanks for releasing us from that place and for your role in bringing us here. This world is truly wondrous. What are you doing with yourself? For a time, I returned to Alexandria, but they have no need of another fisherman. And I came to see there is nothing for me there. 
Instead, I have decided to follow the custom of your youths and backpack the world. It is a great adventure, and I have met many people from many cultures. I spent the first 25 years of my life avoiding the 42 sins that would deny me access to the afterlife. Now, I think it is time I had some fun. Sounds like you've earned Indeed. it. Indeed. Thank you, Oracle. Hello there. Oh, this is the tied up one. Oh, I go by Gabriella now. I didn't want to be reminded of that monster every time I heard my own name. Which monster? You didn't Dad, know. obviously. My adoptive father, Sentius, locked me up in the upper cistern to stop me from escaping. After you drove Pluto off, Proserpina came and released me, and that monster got what was coming to him. Sounds like you got what mm. you deserved. What are you doing these I'm days? I'm living by myself on a little vineyard in Umbria. It's something Olpius and I used to talk about doing when we got out. And I thought that's what he would have wanted. Olpius? Was it but Olpius banging the other slave hard. chick or what? I don't know what I'm doing. And it's just not the same without him. Mostly, it just reminds me he's gone. Oh shit. I forgot to save him. Oh fuck. Oh, it's hardly your fault. Uh, I'll be alright. In time. That's unlucky. Thanks. But I mean, I could have saved them, and that's all that matters, all right? Hello. Hello. It's I so nice to I, I take it you. you find this I time period so much about you. more uh, convenient. I wanted to thank you personally for getting us out of there. I'm studying to be an architect again, and living in a beautiful flat in Rotterdam, just down the river from Nijmegen, where I grew up. Of course, it's improved immensely since I was there last. Gleaming futuristic buildings and clean streets full of educated accepting people. You natives of the 21st century have no idea how fortunate you are. Yeah. <laughs> you too. If you're ever in the Netherlands, I'd be happy to show you around. It's the least I could do. May I just take you up on that. Alright, Al Gore. The fuck are you? There you are. I hope you enjoyed that. Now, there's one more person I wanted to introduce you to. I think you know her. <laughs> Sorry if I frightened you. Just a little joke I've been saving for a long, long time. Right, nice Allow me to introduce myself properly. I am Proserpina, former goddess of the cycle of life and renewal, and now a regular mortal. I wanted to meet you in person. Enjoy your life. And thank you for freeing all these people and me. I hate to think what would have happened to us without your intervention. What became of Pluto? I don't know what happened to him. I haven't heard from him. And I rather hope it stays that way. Well, be of Karen. Oh, she inherited dominion over the underworld. Last time we spoke, she was working on a new world of some kind. She wouldn't say what it was. But I'd be surprised if you don't run into her again. I imagine we all will. One day. Indeed. Suffice it to say that while Pluto was controlling the eyes and ears of each golden statue, I was able to control their tongues and whisper to you when he was distracted. I am sorry my messages were so cryptic. There were only ever brief windows in which I could speak to you without being detected. Alright, you did what you could. You created a time I did. loop? I may have given up my immortality, but I still retain my gifts as the goddess of a cycle of life and renewal. After witnessing Pluto punish countless poor souls over thousands of years, I knew this generation, the final wave, would not survive. So I tried to give them a way to buy more time. A second chance. Rather as many second chances as they needed to avoid his wrath. So I whispered to Sentius in secret, telling him the prayer required to create a portal in my shrine. 
I knew the danger of humans being corrupted by godly power. And so I put a safeguard in place. I required the creator of the portal to sacrifice their own life. So that it could only be used selflessly to help others. What I did not anticipate is that Sentius would retain his accumulated memories from each previous day. And as a veteran soldier, he had long since shed his fear of death. He quickly discovered that he could, in effect, prolong his own life indefinitely by exploiting the cycle. Of course, once I had Maybe taught him the prayer, bugs. I could not unteach him. And there was little I could do but wait for someone like you to come along and see him for what he was. Bro, you turned him we into gold anyway, later on. Literally, the only guy you fucking punished by your own hands. What the fuck? You could just have done that from the start. We're all fortunate you came along when you did. And you. Although it feels like I've known you forever. Oh, and one last thing. Do you remember all those golden statues scattered throughout the city? Uh, yeah. Good. Because they remember you. Well done, my friend. Of all the heroes who ever journeyed to the underworld in return, None came close to achieving what he did. a couple. Hercules, so Orpheus, Theseus, and Aeneas would be proud. Ending four out of four! The best ending! Woohoo! Easy for Vorsen. But bro. Had this not been... Had this not been, uh, like... Skyrim feel to it. With like... The expectation of all these bugs, right? that you get it would have been pretty shite <laughs> not gonna lie but since it did have the Skyrim feel of, it was pretty good there was a lot of bugs though a lot of brute forcing dialogue sometimes And some very hidden ones, like the doctor one with Rufius, which like bottlenecked the whole fucking quest line, right? Because you didn't ask her this one specific thing, bottleneck the 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 gay guy being harassed, right? And uh, him being sick of something. Uh but uh yeah uh pretty good though i i i enjoyed i enjoyed it i enjoyed it don't smash it okay don't two smash billion year old rock get boiled dyrus mimikif thank you boys welcome back a little bit sorry maybe <laughs> yeah all right Uh, all right, all right. Well, I recommended it. Well, you're all spoiled now, I guess. All right, pretty decent, pretty decent, pretty decent. All right. Uh, there's a couple of other new releases that released today, actually. But uh, I don't think I will 